although today's invite has gone to very very selected people because of the confines of our space and we just wanted to give a little feel of our new gallery and uh, whatever we want to do in uh, future so thank you so much all of you for joining us on this lovely day this is our little paradise and uh, we are reopening after three and a half years so as a gallery uh, we've been here for 29 years we just completed that 29th year last month and uh, we've always uh, had this uh, synergy with the artist where uh, we've kind of encouraged upcoming artists original works of art which are affordable so that it goes to the artists who uh, they reach the common man so we have kind of played a small role in demystifying the elitist aura of art so that every common person feels that yes uh, he can own an original work of art and this is where uh, we feel we have made the biggest foray uh, on one hand with the artists by giving them a platform so we have seen the artists rise and on the other hand uh, uh, the art collectors who have increased and a lot of people from common households have owned a painting and felt really good about it uh, in addition to this, uh, so we were going along. I mean, our 29 years, we've had these uh, exhibitions where we have a set pattern of debut solo exhibitions of young artists. We have established and renowned artists showing. We have student artists showing. And then uh, the pandemic struck. And just like everything changed, uh, it had an impact on our gallery as well. And uh, we had a brief standstill. So we were in this space where we didn't know how long the pandemic would be, what we are going to do next, what's going to happen to the exhibitions that we cancelled. And uh, also we got a feedback from a lot of artists that their livelihood was being affected. So we realized the pandemic is not going away very soon. And we pivoted online, made a few changes to the website and we got going online. And here again, we marked uh, another signature annual exhibition, which we call the AUM, Affordable, Unique, Memorable Art, where we encourage people to gift art. So naturally, the uh, price range becomes different. And uh, since we are online, now we can help our artists reach a global audience. So three years now, we have been doing that. Today, we are at this juncture where we have just begun our 30th year last month. And uh, we've renovated the gallery. As you can see, we've increased the space a little bit. So we've made the little gallery a little bigger. And uh, we have now 10 running feet of extra uh, display area. From an architect, uh, from an art, art gallery that has, uh, where we have curated always, uh, we are kind of moving the model to an artist run enterprise. In the sense, uh, we are looking at now the artist doing much more than just exhibiting his art. So when we started 29 years back, uh, what we felt was, what does the artist need? He needs space. He needs affordable space where he can come and show his talent. But then today, times are very different. Uh, in the era of social media, with technology taking over, with so many different things happening, the artist by just showing his work, it's not enough. There are a lot many things that go with it. Uh, the thing that comes to my mind immediately is a lot of people who come here to buy art also, our clients and others, even artists, they always ask us, Yaha koi aata hai? And it's very strange when they say that. You know, people actually come here and I get reminded of a bhajan which says, Achutam Keshavam, Krishna Damodaram, you know, it says, ah, kaun keta hai, Bhagwan aate nahi, ap meera ke jaise bulate nahi. That kind of sums up what you need to do to get the artist and the art lover connected. So, from here now, we are looking forward to some newer uh, ideas, newer associations, and this uh, exhibition and this event is a mark of that. So, the way we have curated this exhibition, we've called it a new tomorrow. It has a very close uh, bearing to what we feel personally. And uh, this event also an open event uh, where we are looking at uh, interactions in art. And we probably also want to, going forward, look at uh, interactions in design. 
So we are still thinking of that. We are looking at a lot of designers. We need to refine the idea, get exchange thought, and let us see where that goes. Um, that's a little bit about our gallery, a little bit about the exhibition that we have uh, curated uh, with the thing that uh, art brings hope, art brings inspiration, and let us look at a new tomorrow. I take this opportunity to introduce you all to our uh, Shruti. She's a gallery manager. Please come, Shruti. Shruti is an abstract artist and uh, she's going to be managing the gallery from now onwards. So if anybody has any inquiries, even if you want to purchase paintings, whether you want to book the gallery, for whatever it is, Shruti is the front face. Thank you so much once again. Shruti, over to you. Thank you so much, Nan, for the introduction. And I'm really happy to talk about ยังจะยังจะเอาไปเจ็บเจ็บเลยไปเจ็บเจ็บเลยไปเจ็บเจ็บเลยไปเจ็บเจ็บเลยไปเจ็บเจ็บเลยไปเจ็บเจ็บเ
aconteceu. Entendeu? It's okay. It's okay. Can you always have that I'm going to write this up in here. Just think I didn't understand. Get the it back. What's so how is that? No? More it's a one twenty. One minute point with seconds. Uh, no, we want two minutes, 30 seconds. Hard hit. Yeah. Wait, dead. Hit it. Oh. Go back. All right. That. Be dead. It's like I can't. Yeah. I'm the thing. I'm the thing. Go guy, okay. And that is she. Sure. Why can't the pot on cat? We are. I could see her age. If she. If it's 10 day, if she could be. I think it's her more. So you want me to set up 10. Oh, maybe. Never seen people. After T. Is it a pick? Yeah, up to five seed a key, right? After the beer part of these. Okay. Shit. That's it. Come here. We'll move it all over and take the lift. Walk the lane, storm in the filling in, and eat the game. Shall we go? Do the lift at the second turn. Okay. Two minutes, three seconds. Wait, then we need to wait till two minutes and. Well, and it looks this. Let's see it. Shame. So, uh, shall we begin? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I would like to invite Subot Wadarji. Please, sir. Okay. I agree. <laughs> it is like it's remarks, I should finish my up. After 2.30, I get negative, right? It's like that. I should finish my up. Have a take. Hi, you have to say. No, no, so we'll, <laughs> we'll just stand. <laughs> yes, the stage is all yours and the time is... Hello, changed. good evening, everybody. I don't know how they picked. <laughs> Me to be the first speaker. Time starts now. Yes. <laughs> uh, people say Mohanjadaro was the beginning of all civilizations where they could make a sculpture out of bronze. Such a developed society. I think that was the end of all civilizations because we have not developed making bronze sculptures after Mohanjadaro. Lost wax process remains the same for 5,000 or 6,000 years, the same. We make the sculptures in the same style. So I thought I will visit that space. So I thought of making Mohanjadaro sculptures in bronze. And the dif difference would be I would visit that space with the same material, with the same uh, furnace, with the same kind of people, same kind of clay, same kind of wax, same kind of five metals together. But the difference I would create, the sculpture who was standing like this for 5,000 years, I may make her dance, you know, I may make her stand like this. I may make her stand like this. So I, have, I gave her poses. The dance poses, you know, she could stand in a dance, more, more dance, dance and like a space. So I traveled in that space to make sculptures. I found a place in Swami Malay, South India, where they make sculptures even today using the same style of gloss wax process. And there I discovered that when they make the sculptures in wax, they have to cover it with clay. And why? All over India, there are studios, but why? All the uh, lost wax process, all the South Indian sculptures, all the temple sculptures are made only in South Malay. I discovered that at the turn of Kaduri, the kind of clay it sediments, that clay can withstand 1200 degrees of temperature when you pour metal into it. No other clay can withstand. And also I discovered that the clay is similar to the clay around the river um, which was flowing around the Sindh, around the valley of uh, Monjadar. So the similar clay, the si and the people were similar. You know, the furnace looked as if it is 5,000 years old, just very basic. Uh, begin the earth 
putting some coal and using some hand uh, machine to blow into it and then those people tamilians who didn't understand a word in hindi or english wearing lungi bare body they looked like 5000 year old men and they were pouring metal into a sculpture of the of the of the creek no. and i made those sculptures you know and my sculpt my wonderful girl was no more standing like this and she had all poses no shape poses like that beautiful uh, series of monjadar i made when i was traveling back i had to come back from chennai i had to stay overnight at my friend's place and his family was waiting to see what i had sculpted 5000 years they made a nude statue i also made a nude statue they were all nude beautiful monjadar statues all of 8 inches i suddenly struck me how will i show this statue to my friend's mother who is a tamilian brahmin ayangar i can't show a nude statue to her there i traveled for 5000 years and i came to today's space march of the salka space vanished and i was today i was carrying a suitcase which had a red band my sister had tied rakhi on me with a red silk thread with two little gold uh, beads so i took that and uh, that was tied around my suitcase handle to identify on the conveyor belt that that's my bag so i would pick up with the road so i took the red thread out and on that beautiful statue i tried that thread on her waist as if she's wearing a dress of red silk and gold beads looked so beautiful amazing which i did not think earlier but now that i'm thinking of presenting it to my Again? people who would otherwise think my god this man has gone crazy in making new models so my nude was covered with gold and red and my shame you know that how will i so show it to people so that 5000 year old sculptor who could make a nude statue today i tried to reach that space but i could not touch that space and i fell you know the degradation that progress of that society has degraded that i could see that i make a statue like that but i can't show it to my people so that was my revisiting the space thank you so much sir <laughs> <laughs> How much? Three minutes. <laughs> and I didn't give you a great time. <laughs> Sorry. So thank you so much, sir. That was lovely. And next, I would like to call upon Hemant Sutar J. Please, sir. Oh, thank you, Ashwin. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Lalit, for giving me this opportunity to come and talk about reimagining spaces. And it's a wonderful example of reimagining space, what you've done to this little space. And I wanted to talk about this only, that constraints in the reimagining spaces, basically. So what you gave me here, you have to come and talk about reimagining re spaces. And, but you gave me a constraint of two minutes. That was a very good thing. Because if you don't give me a constraint, it becomes unlimited and then I'll get lost in space. So giving constraint is a good idea. So that brings me to one anecdote. It's a movie I saw, which was an Italian film called uh, Legend of 1900. This is a story about a musician who was born on a ship and he died on that ship. But he never put his foot on land. The reason being, he always thought that I know my ship from bow to the stern, but I don't know the world. It's endless. So I would get lost there. So then, since he was a musician, he gave an example of how he creates music. He says the keyboard, the piano keyboard, has 88 keys, and that's the constraint. And that's where I can make music. Imagine a keyboard with unlimited number of keys. How will I make music? There will be no music. I will be confined. So that's what I wanted to say about the magic of constraints. Uh, if you work within constraint and may take it as an advantage uh, that I have to work within these things and create a beautiful space or whatever it may be. Uh, that's what I wanted to make my point about. Thank you. No, no.
side. Congratulations on having such a wonderful gallery. A uh, lot of people may think that this is a limitation, just as what we were talking about. And you know, an I see it's an advantage that you have a unique selling property over here. So, thank you, and congratulations for completing 30 years. Where is Savita? Oh, okay. But to her also. Our uh, spaces. Now, since each I chain, we are all made of five elements. And one of the elements is. See, that's what I'm going to do. Now, it's going to be a bunch of. Being exploring other elements is very, very much possible. But exploring space from many, many angles. It's a different exploration altogether. And I do feel that this exploration with limitations is only going to be possible. Without limitations, it's going to be extremely challenging and extremely varied also. I do believe that uh, when it comes to me, when I'm, first of all, when I'm exploring, uh, I like to explore things which are uh, spaces where I can express myself. Sorry. I can create certain things or I can help somebody else create certain things. Say, for example, the viewers uh, which are there, if I'm creating something, for a client, then the weaver has to be involved. When I'm creating an art piece or a uh, mural or something like that, then my thought process is involved. But along with me, there are other karigars who are also working in that space. When I'm visiting that space, first of all, at that point, I like to explore, feel. And after that, when I'm revisiting, then at least I am clear with my concepts and that is when I start expressing myself and that is when a piece which is unusual is created. Unusual from my expression point of view. It has nothing to do with how others believe that how it is but I do feel that this exploration is what art is all about. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, next, I would like to call upon Rajendra Patil, sir, to please. That was on all the. Is it in up now? Yes. Uh, I don't know what to say. First of all, congratulations. Uh, to Pradarshak, congratulations to Lalit and Savitana. Uh, I had a little sore throat. Yesterday, uh, actually, I was uh, requesting them to excuse me, but they said, no, no, we are opening after uh, three and a half years, and this is 30th year, so congratulations. I am art writer, I am not artist, so you need to tell me when uh, my time is over. Huh? Otherwise, writers are habitual of... Uh, uh, I would like to, you know, revisit my first visit to Pradarshak Art Gallery. Uh, maybe I don't remember exact month or uh, year, but it may be somewhere around, uh, you know, late 90s, mid 90s, ke thoda baad. Uh, it was a monsoon only, light drizzle. And uh, as you are aware, every art writer start their career uh, visiting art galleries uninvited. So of course I dropped in uh, because till that time I was nobody, non-entity. Uh, visiting galleries, brother Chuck, being uh, I was uh, staying in Santa Cruz, uh, so this was a natural, uh, of course, very close to me. Uh, I don't remember show and so, but it was some group show or I don't know with their Vishesh or something. But I don't know that time whether it started. Uh, so that was my first visit. After that, uh, structure and everything is same, but these people are bringing, you know, vibes to it, different vibrations to it. Uh, 
Pradarshak is having a, a name, a different unique identity as the smallest existing gallery, functional gallery in Asia. Yeah. So today, today when I started from Mahim, my home, I in the Ola I put it Pradarshak and immediately it came. So that's the identity of Pradarshak. Small gallery, but it is on the Google. Capture Kariya location. Yeah. After that, if you look at the art trail, when we started, I think as a writer, I started uh, that time, uh, it was still an art field, slowly becoming art market. We used to call it art market now. Earlier, it was, uh, you know, during that time only art field, it was art market, word was coming in uh, practice. Uh, during those days, as, as so, Savita, Madam said, ki art buyer se pe aate hai kya? Uh, she was asked, you know, question by somebody. So, as I ran India Art Festival uh, in Nehru Center, it was in BKC in Mumbai. It was at very odd places. Uh, National Stadium, Tagra Stadium. Uh, in Bangalore, it is in Palace Ground. So, people used to say, ye to art venu nahi hai. How you start art? Achha, Delhi, you know, again, that is, Delhi is a very rowdy city. They don't use, again, sober words. When I started, after five years completing India Festival in uh, Mumbai, when I started in Delhi, to some Sardar ji dur se baat kar raha tha kisi se. Ab koon pagal ho gaya shuru karne ko? Matlab, that was the way they say, are ya natural stadium mein ya sports khelne aate hai log. That was in my launching party, which was in Lado Sarai. But, Jesa Inone Kaha, Ap Bulange Parse, Achutam Keshwam, Way Subjagata. Well, it was successful, it was successful in Tagra Stadium, in BKC, Palace Grounds, everywhere. So, art buyers, art collectors do come, and second thing, what is changed now after all these years? Uh, till I think mid 90s, art was purchased, bought by uh, mostly big corporate houses or some ultra HNI clientele, not even HNI clientele. But now that profile has changed. You take any company, C8 Tires, C8 Tires, ke Arshuvenga, Sarto Chalo, Har Art Festival mein aajate hai. But now in C8 Tires, if you see, there is a, there is a hierarchy director, VP, so many things, a VP. So now everybody, all of them buy art. Simple uh, salaried person who makes, you know, decent paycheck at the end of the month. So this has the change from there and now. Uh, of course, when I came uh, in the first visit, uh, 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 Lalit sir's hair were not that much grey. So this was one this, this was one more, one more change I noticed after all this year. Uh, Meanwhile, I used to come regularly, maybe last eight, I stopped writing, uh, which is very bad. Uh, Samir is looking at me. Uh, somewhere around uh, uh, 2009, 10, 11, uh, 11 se to art festival aa gaya, to that magazine is still there. I run art magazine also. So, see that editorial to likhna hai hai jabardasti, that I used to write at least. Otherwise, uh, I used to have interviews, with, uh, I had the interview with Samir, one to one interview with many artists, you know, like from Yeti. Sir. 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 Over. Sure. Thank you and uh, uh, welcome to uh, our uh, new guest, Yeti uh, and Deepak sir. Thank you. I was going to say, I am a writer, so I will start with you. I will start with you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your memories. And uh, next, I would like to call upon Charan Sharma ji, please. Not my happiness. Yeah, get out to business. Get. Oops. Tricked. Some 
अब एक चित्रकार नहीं उसके पास शब्द नहीं होते हैं बोलने के लिए पर वो अपने शब्दों को स्पेस में एक अलग रूप में रखता है सबसे पहले तो मैं बधाई देता हूँ कि छोटी सी स्पेस में वैदिक स्पेस कितनी इन लोगों ने ले रखी है वो आप सोचिए इतनी बढ़िया वैदिक स्पेस है इतनी बढ़िया खुशबू आ रही है तो स्पेस का मज़ा ये है कि आप छोटी स्पेस में भी बड़ी हवादार स्पेस पैदा कर सकते हैं कि अच्छा सा आर्ट लगा के तो सबसे पहले तो बधाई ललित जी आपको भी और उन्होंने जो अत्युत्तम केसवी ने वो बोला ना कि प्रेम से बुलाते तो भगवान भी आ जाते हैं तो आर्ट में तो प्रेम है ही है बिना प्रेम के तो आर्ट होता नहीं हमारे एस्थेटिक्स में कहा गया है आ, एक श्लोका है रूप भेदा प्रमाणानि भाव लावन योजना जब हम योजना या भाव सब पैदा करते हैं ना तो चीज़ें अपने आप एक अच्छे अच्छी कलाकृति के रूप में आती है तो कलाकृति को सही स्पेस मिले और सुंदर लोग देखने को आए वो वो स्पेस का अलग ही मजा है बस मैं इतना ही कहता हूँ और आप सबको बधाई थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच सर एट वॉज वेरी शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट थैंक यू सो मच नेक्स्ट आई लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन समेन मोडल जी प्लीज Thank you, Shobhita Ji, for for calling me here this evening. I'm happy because a long back I came here. I know the space. I just knowing the new space. And two minutes. Uh, please excuse this uh, congratulation part. A few seconds, so please. Because time is too short. It can pain, but we cannot be in control. But anyway, we 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 always uh, always uh, get one 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 uh, message. The art. नोज नो बाउंड्री एंड चरण चरण टोल मी दैट डिड यू कम बैक फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेन मैंने दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग वाई बिकॉज द स्पेस मैंने आर्ट का बाउंड्री तो नहीं चाहिए आर्ट होता ही नहीं विथ बाउंड्रीज बट ना वे वे चेकिंग नाउ बट एनी थिंग इट इज क्रिकेट इज फुटबॉल इट सिनेमा इट्स पोइट्री within this many words within this keep 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 within this case and of course in our case uh whether it is i i i just work work with uh, watercolor a little bit and uh, i use paper for my surface or that is my given space you can just say and canvas or whatever it is but before that i'm just telling one thing about australia because i was there and i just made a